Stalls are back and they're off and running. Came out in a good line too. Risky and Spectrum began well with Vesti. Nap Hill showing some speed and wider out now. Londolazy travelling forward with those in the early point back on the inside. Then Graceful Encounter sorting themselves out. Nap Hill will take up the running now from Vesti. And on the outside, Londolazy further back. Risky. Graceful Encounter inside. Noir Seer two to Spectrum. A half then Fleischer and then our Abolition deep around winnings. Listening Joy the inside from further back. Shiyasaki Bonanova. Then Touch of Fantasy and last of all Chicago Baby. A thousand out down the back and the leader is Nap Hill nearly a length in front now from Londolazy. They're followed by Vesti third outside at Risky. Two to Graceful Encounter on the inside there of Noir Seer. Three deep is Abolition. Two further back then Fleischer Spectrum. The inside there is Lisa, further back Listening's Joy. Shiyasaki Bonanova then winnings followed by Touch of Fantasy and Chicago Baby last of all. 7.50 out up the side they come and the leader is Nap Hill about a head in front of Londolazy. Risky three deep has gone up third a length further back running fourth is Vesti. Then Noir Seer from Abolition who's been deep. To the outside then came Shiyasaki. Graceful Encounter needs some luck back on the inside. Further back in the race then Spectrum starting to move forward and then Bonanova and Fleischer. Londolazy hit the front. Nap Hill has gone. Then Vesti the outside from Abolition. Two further back. Noir Seer trying to get out. Followed in behind those by Graceful Encounter. Londolazy in front from Vesti. Abolition pulled to the outside uh, behind those. Noir Seer on the outside. Abolition and Vesti got to Londolazy. Abolition that's head in front. Vesti fighting back. Abolition. Abolition scores a half head on the line. Vesti. Third home in the race. Londolazy. They got tight on the wire. Then Noir Seer and further out Chicago Baby from Graceful Encounter. A gap risky spectrum. Listening's Joy Nap Hill. Bonanova Shiyasaki. Then Fleischer. Further back touch of fantasy. And winnings near the tail. Eight abolition, thirty dollars twenty and eight dollars ten. Vesti at three thirty. Two on Delosi, three ten. Number eight gets it. Abolition. Number eight. Late catch ride for Jason Patton here. Beats number ten. Vesti. Brett Preble. And third goes to two. Londolazy. Eight ten and two. In one thirty-five eight. So they've broken the track record again. One thirty-five eight. They've broken the record, and this mare has never got on the track. On Super Tab 8, Abolition, 24 even and 6.20. 10 Vesti, 340 and 2 Londolazy, 3 even. All the middle, Patton the whip on the outside. Preble can use the whip. There's not a lot of room between Preble, Vesti and Abolition the outside. They got very close. Interesting to have a look at the head on there. I don't think there was an inch of room there between them. Rick We're only the watching side on, but she's got up. A big performance over uh, the second mare. Vesti in third, Londolosi, Noir Sia officially fourth and look to have every uh, every chance, got a good carry into the race. Now the tab system's up and running again. In two over the line, they straighten Londolosi, grabbed by Vesti, Abolition joins them in the gold cap. And they settle down for a good battle. Uh, let's have a look here, Abolition on the outside, Vesti inside it. Uh, there's not a great deal of shift there, they're desperately... Coach Morfordville race number four, winner was three. They jumped in an even line to Schumann on the inside and Scintillation, the smartest out. And as they travel about 200, Scintillation not getting away, only about a half length on Schumann, three quarters gale warning. Length and a half further back is High Office, followed closely by Overtime Expertise. And close up but wide out, Timeless Appeal is last. As they race down to the 700 and now Scintillation clicked up by Luke Levy, leads a length and three quarters on Schumann. A similar margin away third is gale warning, followed by Overtime moving away from High Office. Expertise second last and about two lengths to timeless appeal 600 out and scintillation shows the way he's not getting a big break on schumann a length and a half the margin as they come around the corner three lengths to overtime in the third spot and then a break to gale warning expertise high office and timeless appeal wide as last as they straighten up and scintillation taken on by schumann and down past the 275 scintillation almost joined by schumann who now hits the lead scintillation's gone schumann raced a length clear overtime on the outside followed by expertise and then high office. Schumann is the leader. The rider getting desperate, Kevin Moses. Expertise is running home late, but Schumann's got to carry too many guns for expertise. It's Schumann, a little more than a length on expertise. And the third was overtime, followed by scintillation, high office gale warning, and last was timeless appeal.
Number one, the winner there, Schumann, three even, 180. Number four, Expertise, 360, no third for seven overtime. Back at Canberra, here's Michael Heath. Yeah, horses on their way to the barrier four, race four. Uh, number two, Gold Legends, the favourite on course with the book. Racing. Tycoon Lil, one of the first to break the line. She flew the gate and going forward. Kenwood Melody, the three-year-old on the outside. Super Slew and Might and Power Handy. Rider out Northern Drake and Batavian goes up on the inside of the winning post the first time. Tycoon Lil led now Kenwood Melody. Might and Power shoulders out to be three out and Jimmy's going towards the front. He takes Might and Power to the lead, turning out of the straight. Might and Power about to cross Tycoon Lil. A length further back, Kenwood Melody from Batavian. Then Super Slew followed by Dracula Northern Drake. Goal Guru, a length for the back dodge. Two to Catlin opening and last of all Doremus. They file down to the 1400. And it's Might and Power on top of the BMW Cox Plate. By a length and a half to Tycoon Lil. A length for the back, Batavian. Kenwood Melody fourth the outside. Two for the back, Dracula fifth on the inside of Super Slew. Two and a half, Northern Drake. A half, Goal Guru. One to dodge. Second last is Catlin opening and Doremus last of all. Jay Cassidy controls the Cox Plate at the halfway mark at the 1,000 metre mark on Might and Power. He's out by two lengths. Tycoon Lil second, Batavian a length third. A length in Kenwood Melody running fourth. A length and a half, Dracula fifth. One super slew, two for the back, Northern Drake. Then Gull Guru for the back in the race, Dodge. Catlin opening second last to Remus, last of all. They're filing off the 800 metre turn and might and power. The horse of the year in Australia by two lengths to Tycoon Lil. A length and a half, Kenwood Melody, one Batavian. Two Dracula, Northern Drake and then Gull Guru. They're followed for the back by Dodge and Catlin opening. Might and power the leader at the 500 metre mark Tycoon Lil under enormous pressure Kenwood Melody the outside to Batavian Northern Drake at the 400 metre mark and Jimmy's calling on the big horse Might and Power a length and a half Tycoon Lil Kenwood Melody then Northern Drake and further back in the race Catlin opening Jimmy lets him go on the turn and it's Might and Power two or three in front from Tycoon Lil Northern Drake down the outside Tycoon Lil can't go on Might and Power in front he's got to get it the earth starts to rumble Might and Power takes the cock Played a length and a half, Northern Drake. Two lengths away, third, Tycoon Lil. Dodges fourth from Catlin opening. Then further back, Dracula, Doremus, Golguru, Batavian, Kenwood Melody, and Super Slew is tailed off. Number one, Might and Power, 180, 138, Northern Drake, 11, 10, 9, Tycoon Lil, 190. Number one. Number one, he's shaved two seconds off the track record. A mighty performance by a magnificent thoroughbred might and power look at him go to the post to beat number eight northern drake and third is number nine tycoon lil jimmy took him to the front going out of the straight and the grand horse has shaved two seconds off the track record one eight and nine to the bmw cox plate might and power has broken all hearts this afternoon Written by Jim Cassidy. Trained by Whispering Jack, Jack Denham. Raced by Nick Moratis. And his prize money now soars to $5 million in track record time. Well, what a horse, what an animal. He has opened up turning for home. Jimmy knew what he had. He asked for more. Might and Power said, you've got it. And he put two lengths on them. Northern Drake for a fleeting stride at the 180 metre mark. Looked a chance. But this horse then went to overdrive and he has raced away from Northern Drake. Tycoon Lil, fourth in his number seven, and that's Dodge. But the mighty horse has won well. 190, 130, 14, 10 second, 210 third. 190, 130. All right, we'll see the tapes. One uh, might and power. A dollar eighty, one thirty-eight, Northern Drake, eleven ten, nine Tycoon Lil. A dollar ninety, Quinella sixty-seven seventy, Exacta sixty-one fifty, one eight nine trifecta, four hundred and seventy-five dollars fifty, the extra double eight 
Our volition and one might and power is $67.60. Pass the post on Super Tab, one might and power, one ninety one thirty. Eight Northern Drake, fourteen dollars ten. Nine Tycoon Lil, two dollars ten. The treble, two eight and one, four hundred and fifty seven ninety. May with this grand horse, he has now done what the immortal Farlap did, come back from a Melbourne Cup the following season, and take the Australasian Weight for Age Championship, the BMW Cox Plate. It'll be some time before he'll be back, folks, because he's way down at the corner, at the twelve hundred metre point. Right, they're moving in at uh, Kembla. A length and a quarter by, by one and, and three third. quarters. And he's shaved two seconds off the track record, which was created earlier in the afternoon. A blistering 2.3.5, 190 and 130. All right, now race. Totes at the Gold Coast on the fifth. Winner number five, Spring Day, paid 6.50 to win, 2.30 to place. Racing in the rider handicap, and the favourite actually got the best of it, Fantasia. Zaila out pretty well, and likewise was Ken Quest, and then Yobro, followed by Taradu. The grey is going to go to the lead now, Zaila. Third last in the field is praise indeed from our Mr Kinman and Diabolical. As they travel almost 300 metres, and as Zaila lopes along, there's little or no speed on. The break is about a length on Ken Quest. Fantasia back to third now, followed by praise indeed. Has a little more handy today than we've seen him lately with a slow speed, no doubt. Yobro's pretty wide, and between Yobro and Appraise indeed is Taradu, and the last pair are our Mr Kinman in company with Diabolical. Working past the 1400 as they head down the back of the track, and Zaila leads the way. About a length or so on Ken Quest, two and a half to Fantasia. A length further back on the outside, picking up some ground as Yobro on the outside of Praise indeed. And then Taradu, and about two and a half lengths to the joint tail end as Diabolical on the outside of our Mr Kinman. Still no change in the pattern, galloping down the back of the Rose Hill Gardens race course and now linking up with the 1000 and the Newcastle train Zayla written this afternoon by Brian York is the leader and out of the back straight he goes about a length exactly on Ken Quest two and a half to the favourite Fantasia a half then on the outside Yobro covering a bit of ground followed then by on the inside praise indeed from Taradu Diabolical still second last and on his inside at his girth in fact is our Mr Kinman they're bunching up noticeably coming along to the 600 pole and the rider handicap and Zayla has been the leader from pretty well the word go three quarters to a length the break on Ken Quest and Yobro followed another length and a half away by Fantasia two to Taradu and praise indeed our Mr Kinman and Diabolicals dropped out stone motherless as they straighten up and Yorkie going for home on the grey Zayla he's a length and a half on Ken Quest Fantasia's into the clear but three lengths off Zayla then Yobro Taradu and our Mr Kinman making ground but it's still Zayla 150 to go he's two lengths clear on Fantasia trying his heart out but this is a clear a ride by Brian York on Zayla. He's oh, Fantasia's broken down. Our Mr. Kinman got up for second and third Taradu, but it's Zayla beating our Mr. Kinman and Taradu followed home by Ken Quest, and then came Yobro followed by Craze. Indeed, unfortunately, Fantasia's broken down. Was lucky to stay on his feet inside the last 100. Last was diabolical. Oh, that's shocking luck. Uh, Fantasia has broken down very, very badly in the near front. And the rider quickly has dismounted Danny Beasley. Number eight, Zayla, 470, 170. Five, our Mr. Kinman, 380 and three, Taradu at 260. The daily double, $47.90 for eight and eight. Shortly after the jump, straight to the lead on the Newcastle train gilding. And the grey proving too good. 853, the winner to pay 470 in New South Wales and 180, Zayla. Number five is second, our Mr. Kinman. And uh, he's paid $3.10, and third placing going to number three, Taradu. Hugh Bowman has paid $2.50. The... All right, more from Ian shortly. Back at the Canberra Racecourse, Michael Heath. Horses milling behind that barrier here now for the fifth. Or four.